there's so many people out there watching right now, Dr. Jackson, you know, that have diseases or maybe people in their family have chronic degenerative diseases. And yes. I can name all the chronic degenerative diseases, but the list actually goes on and on. Mm -hmm. How can mineral deficiencies help anybody with any type of chronic degenerative disease? First of all, it's the minerals that give us the electric energy what, in our body. What, what do you mean electrical energy? I'm not uh, plugged into a socket. Okay. It is somewhat like plugging into a socket. You literally have to have a circuit. So you say I'm, I'm, people are going to feel a difference. You bet. They'll feel a difference. Absolutely. Two, a day, two or three days later after taking the product? Two or three days later you'll, you'll feel some. Couple it depends weeks on later. how mineral deficient you are? That's correct. And I'll tell you what, you can look at it like a bulb in a bat. Take a flashlight. And we have a bulb in the flashlight, and when that energy goes down, the bulb is Dims. more dim. Sure. Okay, that's what fatigue is. When my battery is running low, all of my cells, I get so tired, I might have been driving all night, and my arms are heavy, and I can hardly keep from dozing. I'm fatigued, I'm not normal. I'm not stimulated, I'm not normal, I'm fatigued. Do you know that most people in America function on fatigue. And you think that's because of mineral deficiencies? Absolutely. All you need is a trickle charger. Pick it up. Get the So you're energy. saying these fulvic minerals act like a, a act, I know it's a metaphor, but it's like a trickle charger yes, for our cells. Yes, indeed. That so you is have correct. the energy that you need. Now let me tell you something. There's a very interesting thing. Next stage below fatigue is exhaustion. And with research that's been done, Dr. George Cryle did a, 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 a medical study, a whole book, on the biological theory of electrical energy. In that, he did repetition after repetition on amoeba. Now, that's just a microorganism that happens to be big enough to, to see it functioning better. That little amoeba has about a 12 millivolt energy. Wouldn't light a very light, big light because mm -hmm. it don't take that much. But if you take the electric energy away from that amoeba, its cell wall would begin to tear, very much like our exhaustion. Okay. So I can't tell you exactly when a vital organ begins to tear or rupture, but I can tell you somewhere between fatigue and exhaustion is where most people function. And minerals can keep you out of that state That's of fatigue right. or exhaustion. That's right. How can minerals help people that are worried about getting a chronic degenerative disease? Are you less susceptible to disease? Just like dead doctors don't lie. I remember that tape and he said minerals, selenium, all these minerals that That's the body correct. needs will help you live longer. And that was the, the, the basis of the tape. Is that true in your opinion? Yes indeed. Your flashlight will give you better light if you keep the batteries charged. If you have lack of energy, you're more likely to come up with disease. Is that what you're mm -hmm. saying also? The beautiful car that you drive? Yeah. Well, why don't you just stop once in a while and dump a cup full of gas in? Because it won't run. Uh-huh. It sputters on you, and then you've got to jump out and put another cup full in and another cup full. It's a pain in the neck. Fill it full. Enjoy the trip. Stop often at the gas station and fill it up. And that's what we're talking about on electric energy. And that's what we're talking about with good natural, water-soluble trace minerals, that keeps your tank full. Right, now when I've seen trace minerals in the past, and I, I've been a proponent of trace minerals for years, mm -hmm. but they have always been in like a dropper. And they always say they're more absorbable if you put them in water and then drink them. Is that true? I mean, yours is uh, in a capsule? Well, or, uh, a how are you going to take the capsule? The capsule, you probably will put it in your mouth, swallow it with water. Right. The interesting thing that I have done, number one, if you put it in a liquid form, it's not as easy when we have to travel. It isn't as easy. Right now, I have enough in my pocket to take through the day. I take one before each meal. Here's the whole thing. If you're going to run the risk of doing it dry, you don't want binders in it. What, Most, do, you mean, what do you mean dry? I don't know what you mean by if that. If you want a capsule okay. or a caplet. And, and so what happens is we, we, we end up with it dry, but we didn't want it to powder or flake or whatever, and so we put a binder in it to hold it all together. But the binder often keeps us from having a dissolved 
product in our system. Right, the binder help. Uh, oh, it just passes. We can't through. absorb yeah. it That's because it. the binder, Absolutely. you know, binds it, and as you absorb it, you don't get all the right. benefits. Right, and so so what I did is I designed it so that there are no binders. You can drop it in water, lukewarm water, and it will have totally broken apart in five to ten minutes. Totally disintegrated. So when somebody swallows it, the acid of their stomach right. will actually break it down. Oh, just water would do it. Just and water the acid would do makes it. Makes it happen faster right. in your stomach. Interesting. So you know, when I was doing my research, and I, mm -hmm. I, I want to talk about this because so many people out there take digestive enzymes. Yes. And in your mineral formula, there are natural occurring digestive enzymes. Absolutely. And what we did is we took um, I took protease, which is an enzyme name for D dissolving or digesting protein. Okay. Okay. And then amylase, that breaks down sugars and carbohydrates. So a lot of people that are on the high protein diet, they need to break down oh, that yeah. protein. Absolutely. They should be taking dig I, I heard anybody that doesn't eat a raw food diet, which I don't know anybody that eats a totally organic raw food diet. If oh, they don't eat hard. a raw food diet, they should be on digestive enzymes. That's We so there that. are natural occurring enzymes in our foods. The problem is we cook we it, don't. we heat it, our and we burn out the enzymes, right. which cause us to have heartburn, indigestion, exactly. acid reflux disease, as yeah. they call it today. I've had, I've had people who said, we tried to get surgery, whatever, so we could lay down at night. We were sitting up in a chair every night just to keep from choking. You know what? Digestive enzymes assist our digestion to the point you can have a good night's rest. You don't have to worry. You sleep better. Oh man, you're not choking. You're, you're feeling good because things are functioning normal. And you're confident that this is the best mineral product on the market today. And, have, it, and it includes digestive enzymes and a lot of the other whole things. Thing. I have spent 20 years of my life in hard research and accumulation and writing about it and experimenting literally by the tons of this material out there to see all the things that would benefit. And I can tell you very frankly today, there is nothing that I know of that's better than what we have right here. Dr. Jackson, thanks for being on the show. Thank you for the privilege. Yeah. My name is Donald Barrett, and we'll see you on another edition of ITV. Thanks for being with us.